What's up, Soul Tribe? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with... I'm setting my intentions for this to be a love reading, guys. So, let's hope something come through as far as love goes. All right, so let's see. Let's tap in. For the collective, what messages do we have for the collective today? Hopefully love is coming out. Ooh. Well, somebody wanna somebody wanna slow you down or pin you down, not in a negative way, or at least that's not how they perceive it. But this is like if somebody like somebody wants to ground you, okay? So for those of you that's like very free spirited and it's like you a busybody, you can't sit down, you always out and about. Like this is somebody that's like wanting you to like ground yourself, like, okay, time to settle down. Time to be domesticated. So somebody want to domesticate you. Hmm. Okay, what else is coming in? This person may be looking around and they feel like you don't have any support. Maybe this person feel like you still single because you too free spirited. So somebody might feel like you need to like... <laughs> Oh, they, need, they feel like you need to sit your ass down like honestly they like you need to sit your ass down get in a relationship and have a baby or something like this person they may even they may even consider something like that like you know maybe y'all need to get them pregnant because they need to sit the fuck down okay but yeah somebody here is definitely feeling like that uh yeah miracles <laughs> it'll be a miracle to tie your ass down because you like a wild bull a wild unicorn bucking like hell no is that is that hog tie that i see i'm out <laughs> like i don't know y'all but i'm definitely getting this energy whoever this is you might have let them go because they tried to stifle that before okay but this person kind of feel like all right look in exchange for my support i kind of need you to be um you know somebody that is less of a, a a unicorn and more yeah like whoever this is it's like they they may be trying to convince you that you can't find love because free-spirited people are not relationship worthy you know what i'm saying and i mean this person might have went through some extents to kind of prove a point or something to that extent I hate to say that, like, I hope that they didn't, like, try to take away all of your support so that you would have to adhere to groundedness or whatever the case is. I mean, it's good for all of us to be grounded. You shouldn't be that, like, scattered or whatever the case is. But whoever this is, it's like, this person may not support your vision. They may not support your dreams. And the reason why they may not is because they want you to be at home. They want to ground you. They want to domesticate you. Okay, so my thing is, let's say this was somebody you was already in a relationship with, collective. It's like, this person definitely tried to prove a point. And it's like, with that, it's like you, you completely missed the point. The point was over your head. So this person may have like even allowed a relationship between you and them to fall by the wayside so that you can like, learn from their absence that in order for you to be loved in order for them to support you or whatever the case is it's like you have to let go of some visionary like you might be a visionary like maybe you always coming up with new ideas want to travel want to go places want to meet new people and this person might have tried to get you in your feelings by taking a energy away from you to try to teach you a lesson and say look you know, basically, if you really want love, if you really want a man to come into your life and support you, then it's like you you need to be less free-spirited and you need to be a little bit more grounded here, okay? It's like you may not even think about this person anymore is what I'm kind of getting here. This person is trying to look into your future because right now it's a mystery as to how things are going to play out between you and them. But I definitely feel like this person played one of the most dangerous games that they can play by trying to manipulate the energy in a favor in a way where they like stepped away from you it's like this person didn't think that you was just gonna like you know fly out the freaking jar and just be this free butterfly like you even more free-spirited than i feel like when you were with this person so maybe this person might well damn 
I thought they was free spirited before. And now they really are. I don't know how I'm going to contain this person. Okay, so this person may be trying to contain your light or they may want it all to themselves. They may not like you sharing your energy with other people. So if you like a light worker or something to that extent, then this could be a situation where it's like this person don't want you to have to spend all that energy on everybody else. That's why they don't want to support your vision. Okay, they may want all that energy to be spent at home. Like all the energy that you spend being dedicated to helping the world, you can like... uh. You, you know, basically you can harness all that energy and spend that within this household. And basically, you know, you'll always, I'll always be happy, you know? So it's like, it'd be a miracle if this person get what they want, to be honest with you. Or this person is like praying for a miracle that like you see things their way. Okay. Let's see what else. It's like this person just got to learn. Yeah, because they don't see like the free spirit and shit. They don't see that it's something to invest in long term. It's like so they could have pulled back their investment and maybe they was doing that hoping that you'll be like, okay, okay. Like, okay, I'll, I'll be more domesticated and come back. You know, it's like they could have thought that you was going to be on that type of time collective. But it looks to me like you guys was like, oh, okay. You know, and just like went off flying free like damn but this person missed your energy though and i feel like we've been getting that a lot lately that a lot of people that thought that they can do without you or that that they'd be better off without the collective is kind of realizing that it's no energy like your energy is unmatched it's like they can't find that nowhere else yes this person definitely was trying to play a mind game by not investing in you not asking to marry you it's kind of like hint hint i want you to change this and then maybe i will commit to you y'all that's what y'all was waiting on this person could be a tourist or they could be very traditional okay and this person they just see things like you know you meant to be a helpmate not somebody that's out here wandering the world running up and down you know being like up and down the street up and down the block up and down the city <laughs> in and out the airport you know whatever the case is but yeah it's like this person is more traditional it's like you know you're my rib you're supposed to be my help you're supposed to be my helpmate you know what about the house what about the kids what about you know my meals and everything else like this person they adhere to gender roles and they take it very seriously so you could have lost this person's support when you tried to find yourself okay and maybe y'all saw that as a sign that this person wasn't meant to be a part of your life okay if you stepping into your life purpose make somebody run away then you just assume that okay you're not meant to be a part of my life purpose if my life purpose scares you so yeah it's like you guys have been on this discovery binge is what I'm getting here. And it's like this person has been waiting and waiting and waiting to see if anything is going to happen. See if you was going to come back. See if you was going to change. And once again, you're not letting go of who you are. So this person, I don't know what they're going to do from here now that they know that, you know, you're not going to let go of your authenticity just to bask in a new beginning with them. But at some point in this connection, this person definitely thought that they would win by pulling back their investment or by stalling out on proposing to you or creating a deeper connection with you. Yeah, they slowed things down and it could have been over a year or just could have been too much time. Now it's like, maybe you only see this person as a friend now. Now if they reapproach you on some, hey, big head shit, you're like, what's up, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. But y'all, it's definitely an energy where this person definitely sabotaged by stalling something out. Okay. So, uh... Some of you guys may be like a personal chef or something to that extent, or you may minister or you may be a leader, but it's something here that this person feel like you should be doing something else. Yeah, they might be thinking you should be at home being my personal chef. You get what I'm saying? Like, slow down, come home and cook. Like, you always in a hurry. You always trying to go somewhere, meet somebody, talk to somebody or something, but slow down, cook us a meal. Let's watch Netflix and chill, huh? Okay, this person definitely can be an earth sign because they give him very much like a home and hearth energy. Okay, so let's see. But yeah, they definitely did think that this was going to be like a brilliant, elaborate plan to get you to calm down and get you to settle down. It's like if I take this away, 
you know, it's going to be like taking a pacifier from a baby, you know, then they're going to do what I want so that they can get what they want. And that didn't work out at all. Yes, I'm telling you, they play mind games with your stability. And now that you feel like you can't trust what your position is in this person's life, it may be a sense of you not really wanting to even entertain the thought of having a long-term future with this person anymore. But yeah, this person definitely played with your stability. But again, it's like, uh, it's like the time and energy that they invested, they feel like it was in vain because you still are who you are. It's like you still have yet to adhere to their desires. Okay, so that means that this person is watching you. They are trying to see how their absence is affecting your life. It's like, okay, am I the God in their life? Like, have I instilled enough in them where they're going to go off, spread their wings, but actually come back to me more domesticated and, and just figure out that they rather have companionship than success or notoriety or some type of accomplishment like this person just feel like you focused on the wrong shit like you should be focused on womanly duties womanly things making them happy you know uh they they surprised that you're a woman because i'm getting at you a woman just off of this this person's energy it's like whoever this is they want their woman to be like taken care of or kept and it's like y'all might not be on that type of time like maybe y'all want to be independent and this person don't like that Okay, so it's like kind of like they want you to step out of your masculine energy or let that aspect of you go. And they want you to step fully into your femininity. femininity. And it's like, you know, sit pretty and do what you got to do. Don't break a nail or a sweat other than to clean my house, honey. You know, but yeah, it's like, again, y'all been gaining enlightenment or whatever the case is. This person could have spent a lot of money. So I don't know what they spend money on y'all to do spy uh get reading something but it's like they checking in on you they constantly checking in on you time is passing money is being spent and nothing is moving forward with y'all because whatever this person wants it's gonna take a miracle to happen i actually want to directly uh clarify that why is miracles here why is miracles here Y'all, it'll be this person feel like it'll be a miracle to domesticate you, to get you to nurture what it is that they want you to nurture, to get you to step into your feminine energy. So it's like this person may feel like you look at things from a distorted way. They may feel like you should be more happy to like create life and you know, um cook and clean and feed babies and breastfeed and stuff like that. Y'all, whew. This kind of making me sick to my stomach. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Because I can't even imagine a stifled ass life like that. That's not everybody's dream. Let's see. For some of you, it's like this person may want a child, okay? And they feel like you're not cooperating with that. So it's kind of like if you don't give me a child or if you're not capable of giving me a child or if you don't want to give me a child or if you don't want to be a mother then, you know, I have to take myself out the equation. And it's like, okay, bye. <laughs> like, I don't know, y'all. But whatever your desires are, they're very strong. This person definitely does want to give you something here. This person been hacking your shit. So, yeah, they've been going above and beyond and damn near breaking the law just to watch or see what you got going on. Okay? But nothing has changed in this person's life. And they expected things to change in yours. So this person may even be getting karma for the way that they act in, the way that they treating things, how they hovering over you and breathing down your neck on an energetic level. Okay, this person may be watching you move on to somebody that is willing to commit to you and the energy that you in. Like, yeah, y'all been working hard. Y'all hard work is paying off. Y'all could be getting another job at a distance. And this person like, what the hell? Like, like here I am broke, worried, stalking this person. And they just going to keep moving. And, and not only that, but it's like, y'all could be moving at a distance. Like, y'all could be relocating for work. And y'all could also be finding somebody that accepts y'all for exactly the way y'all are. And y'all could be moving on with that person. So it's like all this watching and stalking and like seeing how much if they withhold that energy that you gonna come forth surrendering to their demands 
And, you know, you literally did what you were supposed to do. You did what they were supposed to do. Because what they should have did is just moved on and found somebody that want the same things as them. Rather than to try to manipulate somebody and end up defeated by their own gang. Because it's like, you might have just thought it was over. This person thought it was just a break. They just knew for sure. They was very confident that you wanted a ring, a home, a life, a marriage with them so bad that you would just completely, like, recreate yourself to be with them. And in fact, y'all just see it as y'all not compatible. Okay? That's crazy. Let's see. Why is the page of pentacles in reverse? Poverty in reverse, y'all. This person could even try to stop opportunities for you. And now you're moving at a distance to embark on a new opportunity. So it's like every little thing they do backfire. This person ruined a job for you. Now you get one at a distance. You're going to be even, even farther away from them. You see what I mean? <laughs> it's like this person just keep burying themselves deeper and deeper. Every time they try to do something or mess something up in your life, you get something better and you get farther away from them. Okay? It's like they try to take their love away from you and you just end up finding somebody that accepts you how you are instead of having to change for them. Okay? That's crazy. They trying to take things away from you and God is just steadily replacing it. Like, here, to be fair. Here you go. To be fair. Like, if this person took away something you deserve, to be fair. Like, it's like anything that's taken away from you when you're doing the right thing right thing and you not out here hurting nobody it's gonna return to you even better so it's like whatever this person took away from you whether it was they self other people or other things it's always gonna be something better for you always always and whatever is the best thing that person cannot touch okay so it's like once you reach the pinnacle of something and it is the right thing for you that's the thing that this person cannot touch the only thing that they can touch change hinder or delay is shit that might not even really be for you it could have been a stepping stone, a lesson, or a gateway to what's really for you. But anything that this person can successfully take away from you, it wasn't meant for the long haul. Because anything that's truly destined for you, this person cannot touch. They can't breathe on it. Okay? But yeah, Spirit is removing some of you guys from this person's space. You know, removing them from y'all energetic field, removing y'all from the same destination. So whether y'all live in a house on the same block in the same city, state, or country, it's like you being removed from this person. It's like, okay, you didn't appreciate this person. You don't like this person. That's fine. But they're going to move on. And y'all moving on to somebody that's wealthy and accepts you. So in fact, whatever point this person was trying to prove like, oh, you're not going to get no love. If you don't be just like I want you to be. And in fact, it's people that will really like a wife or a husband exactly how you are. Goal oriented, driven, you know what I'm saying? Ambitious. It's a lot of people that's attracted to that. Just because this person doesn't, doesn't mean that they the end all be all. And doesn't mean that you have to live a life that makes you literally nauseous. Because literally just when I was talking about the Empress in reverse, it made me so nauseous. So it's like the idea of the life that this person trying to paint for you, staying home, staying, staying confined within the four walls, you know what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with having babies. They are a blessing. Being a mother is a blessing coming from a mother herself. But I don't know what position y'all are individually in, but that the life don't appeal to y'all. Whether it's something y'all already did and y'all over that shit or, you know, whether it's something that you just don't want to do. Some people just don't want to be a mother and they feel like they have bigger goals in this lifetime. You know what I'm saying? And that is okay. You will not get no judgment over here about that because parenting is not easy. It's definitely a blessing, but it's not fucking easy, okay? So, yeah, I don't I don't down people that do not want kids, you know? And again, I want to take what I got going on back for the world, but I'm just saying I'm not one of them people with kids that be like up and talking about people that do not want kids or do not have kids because... The same life is not, like, uh, universal for everybody. Everybody's desires are not the same. And that's what this person's problem is that you letting go of. They thought that every woman is desperate for marriage and that they'll do anything for it. And they ended up losing, obviously, the best thing they ever had. Because the only thing that this person didn't like about you was that you are a soul searcher. It's like you want to do things and you want to experience things that you feel guided, led, and called to do. And this person don't like that because they want you to do what, th what they called you to do. It's like I brought you into my life because you're supposed to be a helpmate. 
Stop thinking about what God wants you to do and think about what I want you to do. Allow me to be your God. This is what this person's like personality is giving me through the cards energetically. Five of Swords. Yeah. Wow. Let's see. Let's get one more on the Five of Swords. This person wanted you to lose faith in yourself. Okay. And they wanted you to see, like, they was trying to send a message, like I said, that you wasn't fitting the expectations. So this person could have also, or that y'all, y'all belief system is not the same. So for some of you, this person could be religious and traditional, and you could be spiritual and eclectic. Okay. So y'all, but they wanted to send a message through leaving you behind. And now they the ones that's hurt and sad because that shit did not pay off. It didn't. Whatever message they was trying to send into the soul contract between y'all. Y'all, this person never once apologized or nothing. They sat and waited and waited for you as if you owed them an apology. But in fact, it's like this person's judgmental ways and inability to accept you for who you are is what really sabotaged the connection. And it's really them that need to, that owe you an apology. For not accepting you, for throwing you to the wolves when when you yourself, because that you are moldable. It's like this person could have tried to mold you, and when it didn't happen, they tried to put you in a corner like a kid, but they can't keep baby on ice. So you kept it fucking moving, okay? Yeah, journey. It's like this whole time, however long, six months to a year, over a year, you've been on a journey. you just been doing you. You continue to keep it moving, okay? You continue to go on journeys and stuff like that now it's something that's ordained by the ethers that's coming in or orchestrated in the ethers and it is wish fulfillment okay and somebody is willing to invest in you just the way you are so you might be meeting another free-spirited person like you don't have to be with somebody rigid if you are free-spirited unless that's something you want to do and this is what this is. This was the dynamic of somebody that's free-spirited with somebody that's extremely rigid. And a rigidity definitely sabotaged this connection. And the time is up. So it's like now they may want to invest or whatever. This, this person may have a kindergartner by now. Okay, so maybe they had the kid with somebody else that you didn't want to have. But now this person may be feeling like, oh, you know... Basically, they want to come back into your life like, okay, the missing piece to my puzzle is solved. I have my baby now. But, you know, basically, they still want to create a narrative for you. It's like, now come back and be the stepmom. It's like, get the fuck. <laughs> like, this person need to get the fuck out your face. Princess of Discs. Because, honestly, y'all seem to be finding somebody that's going to make y'all extremely happy. This person feels so unsuccessful. They feel like a failure. Like I said, whatever elaborate plan, it just backfired. It blew up in their face, okay? Why is the princess of discs here? Y'all, because they see a new man coming in. This person feel like you two-faced it as hell, or they are, okay? What's this two-faced energy here? This person might be trying to mask how salty they are. They may be trying to smile like, oh, congratulations to them for getting proposed to. But they really like this bitch. I really wanted them to go off a hill and come back domesticated. And they had the audacity. And there's some people they may tell that because I'm noticing this mouth wide open right here. So they may be smiling in your face, frowning by themselves and running their mouth to anybody that'll listen. Okay? Piss the fuck off. Like, and then she got the nerve to just go get another person that's just going to accept her. She wasn't willing to do the work for me. She wasn't willing to do the inner work. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> you was willing to do the inner work for what you was guided to do. Not what this person wanted you to do. Page of Pentacles. Princess of Pentacles. Bad health. You ain't stressing over them. And they thought that you would be. Now y'all moving on. I'm telling y'all. I feel like y'all could be relocating towards this person. Okay, or this is going to be long distance. This is going to be something that's going to last for the long haul. So it, this is not a little fling you getting into either. Okay, yep. All right, y'all. So this is crazy, but yeah, somebody mind games definitely backfired the hell on them. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.